Hi guys, welcome back to Kelvin's Kitchen. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. On today's episode, we're making a classic comfort food recipe that's healthy, hearty, and filling. Shepherd's pie. Coming up. In a Dutch oven over medium heat, Add in a splash of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of butter. Once the butter begins to melt, add in one full diced onion, two diced carrots. Saute until the vegetables begin to soften. Now, add in two pounds of lean ground lamb. That's right, shepherd's pie is made with ground lamb and not ground beef. If you do make it with ground beef, it's then no longer called shepherd's pie. It is called a cottage pie. With a wooden spoon, break it up nice and small. You will see a lot of liquid and a lot of water, but do not worry, it's going to evaporate and eventually you're going to hear it sizzling. Once it begins sizzling, it's going to start brown nicely. And then add in a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. The flour is going to make that thick gravy that holds the whole thing together. Cook off the flour for about 3 to 4 minutes. While the flour is cooking up, let's go ahead and season it. Add in salt and pepper to taste. 2 tablespoons of fresh rosemary minced. 1 teaspoon of fresh thyme minced as well. 4 cloves of garlic, and you know the drill, minced, 1 eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, 1 tablespoon of ketchup, stir the ingredients in and let it cook for a couple of minutes. Then add in two cups of chicken broth, cook for about seven to eight minutes until it gets nice and thick. Remember we use a good amount of flour so it's going to thicken up quickly. It is getting nice and thick, it should look like something like that. At this point it is time to add the green peas. Then add in one cup of frozen green peas. Stir that in and at this point you can turn the heat off. Now transfer onto the bottom of a casserole dish. We're going to use the back of a serving spoon to smooth it out evenly. We are going to boil two and a half pounds of potatoes in salted water. Once your potatoes are cooked, drain and transfer onto a mixing bowl. Add in one tablespoon of butter, a quarter of a cup of cream cheese, 
a pinch of cayenne pepper, one cup of shredded Irish cheddar cheese. If you can find Irish cheddar, any type of white cheddar would work. With a potato masher, let's make mashed potatoes. Now give it a taste and adjust seasoning if needed. I am adding a pinch of salt. To the potatoes we are also adding one egg yolk. Beat with a couple of tablespoons of whole milk. Pour that over the potatoes and it's almost time to tap our meat. Give that a mix, make sure that everything has been thoroughly incorporated. With a spoon, spoon it out on top. You don't want to dump the whole thing on top because we don't want the meat to get mixed with the potatoes. What I like to do is to even it out with the back of a spoon. And to finalize it, I like to go around with a fork to give that extra texture. Bake at 375 degrees for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, your shepherd's pie should look like this. Allow it to cool for at least 20 minutes before serving. You may garnish with fresh Italian parsley, this is optional. There is nothing better than a well-made shepherd's pie that slightly gamey yet beautifully flavored lamb and the potatoes with the amazing Irish cheddar cheese, it is just perfect. And there you guys have it, Shepherd's Pie. Enjoy. Buen provecho. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, please consider subscribing. Leave me some comments down below, give it a thumbs up, and YouTube wants you to watch this recipe and that yummy recipe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.